Craig, that's one way to welcome your fans back. Yeah, um, really good day. Um, first and foremost, our fans back were just amazing. Um, although they're not all in, you could sort of get a real feel for the stadium and it was good. And then the players did the business on the pitch, first half, second half, and a, and a really good day for us. We had six games here last year behind closed doors and it was dead, wasn't it? It's, uh, you don't realise until those times what a difference they make. No, absolutely. You don't want to go back to them days. Um, I think you could just feel the energy in the ground today. The players were giving that 10-20% more and I think that reflected in the performance and uh, it really sort of felt like the stadium were open for the first time today, to be honest. Danny Elliott on fire, really, first half, along with two or three others. Yeah, I thought the front three were really good, caused them problems um, as midfield were great. I, I think it was just a good performance across the board the first half. Um, we've worked a lot on things in training this week and it's always nice when then things sort of come off and then the players go out and express themselves and they did that. The one downside was Luke Shields' injury, what was your take on that? Yeah, look, I, I believe lads are young lads, so you know what I mean, that can happen, but um, it was a bad challenge and uh, unfortunately it had to be sending it off. Um, I'm just glad in the end that probably Luke's not that bad really, it's an impact injury, so... Um, Fingers crossed um, it's not too bad moving forward. Strange that you see a red in a friendly, but probably given the ferocity of the challenge, it, it was it was needed really, wasn't it? Not that you want to see it. Yeah, I mean, at time, I, it, it was a bad challenge, look. Friendly or no friendly, the lad's got to be sent off. Um, you just hope he learns from that, which I'm sure he will, because he's at a good club. Um, and like I said, Luke Shields is not too bad, so you just move on. And Lincoln City, great people to deal with today. They've, they've really embraced it. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, nothing but respect for them. They're, they're on a fantastic sort of period in the club. Um, obviously, last year, unfortunately, not to go up, but you can see today the quality they've got. And uh, it was a good day, really, for us. But, um, you know, they're going to come back bigger and better this season and do really well because they've got a terrific manager as well. Is it about not peaking too early? They've still got three games to go in pre-season. No, I mean, look, we've had um, three really good friendlies. They've all been different challenges and we've got something out of every game. So that's important to me. Um, even today, we've got a lot out of it, playing against a team of 10 men, things like that. So that's all it is. It's just a learning curve, just improving. And, and like you said, you want to be peaking when the season starts. You weren't overly keen on another game being forced in on Tuesday night, but you don't have to play it now. So I presume that gives you the time on the training ground that you were really after. Yeah, I think that's important to me. Um, obviously, players can recover, and then, we, like you said, there was a lot of work still on the training ground, and that gives us two good sessions next week and uh, another challenge against Norwich next Saturday. And a different challenge next weekend on the academy side, but I presume a very, a very good one, a Premier League side in, in everything that they do. Yeah, exactly, a Premier League team, so um, you, you know these lads are going to be fit and mobile and really well coached um, and testers and like I've said, I think all the friendlies that we've got now moving forward are going to be difficult games, but we've got a bit of confidence into the group now, um, we're working really hard on the training ground and uh, we're learning more each week. And just a final word for the chairman, you must be pleased for him tonight because this is the culmination of years of, of hard work for himself and Neil. Yeah, look, I absolutely have nothing but respect for the chairman. He deserves everything that he gets in terms of the praise for what he's produced here. It's, it's amazing. And uh, I'm trying my hardest and the players are to sort of replicate that on the pitch. And like I said, it should be a, a really sort of exciting season in front of us for everybody.